What were you and Odell talking about on the sideline? Basically, long story short, if something's working, why change it? Mm. And getting going about me and Mr. OBJ, which he really has gotten going. Yeah. You said that. Guys, we are back here at Punchline Pod. Great to have you guys here again. Energy is great because I am with the one and only Jack Settleman, Marlon Humphrey. Punchline Pod presented by Snapback Sports, man. It's great to be here. It's great to be here. It's great that you're bringing the energy. You were on the West Coast last night. You're on the East Coast yeah. right now. Yeah. And upcoming on this week's episode, we've got a Ravens win in primetime in LA. Marlon's bye week plans. We're going to talk who should be the MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. And then stick around to the end because Alabama survives. And we got to hear from Analyst Hunt yeah. about the best team in college football and his conference championship picks. But first, and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. You know the deal. Please do but that. First, Please do that. Marlon, what is on your mind today? Mm, man, I actually, you know, you think I'd be more prepared for this. Well, one, what I was thinking about earlier we need a water sponsor. We need a water sponsor. That's okay. that's one. But that that's that's is there not. is there a, you want to call someone out right we, now? Uh, what is the best for the body? The best. What is going to you know? Because nowadays you know certain waters you can't drink. Really, you can't drink any water. Every water's got something wrong with it. Really, if you're going off Instagram health practitioners, which some, my feed is just filled with it. It's so funny you say that because we're preparing the episode on the train down here. And we're like, you know, should we talk to him about the Eagles? And we're like, he doesn't know anything about the Eagles right now. Uh, we have to think about what Marlon sees on Instagram. Dude, <laughs> so. my, my, my Instagram feed is, you know, you can't eat this. If you wake up in the morning, you go to the gym, you got 20 minutes of glycogen store. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I've worked out on empty stomachs all the time, whatever. I mean, it, it's all, it's, it's a lot of health. They're really trying to get me on basically eating nothing almost but you know I, i'm 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 tough you know i, I fend it off <laughs> but what's on my mind what's cuz before i get too far down the rabbit hole what's on my mind yeah it's it i i'm i'm hey a free mind on a bye week could a be free, a good look, I, I, we, we could be in a good place we got, we got off the plane 6:30 a.m. drove straight to the facility got to rehab you know the the mom Neurons might not be firing at an all-time high. No, I think they are. I think it's just a free mind. It's perfect. We actually prepared some mind-boggling questions My, for you today. From Ted name. Wynn on Twitter, he said, Man. why is the spike not intentional grounding? You're not throwing the ball. You're not throwing the ball to get away from pressure. Mm. Okay. Yes, because when you do intentional grounding, it's usually because first off, why was that not intentional grounding on Justin Herbert when he threw I the ball? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious! Like, I mean, I, to the Ravens fans, if, if you're you know, if you didn't watch Justin Herbert threw a ball that clearly there's no one near and it didn't not get caught, and I don't understand. But back to the original question: What if the DTs like hike, boom, and then is that pressure? Honestly, when you really look at offensive rules, they don't really make sense. <laughs> Why is OPI not, it should be second down and 56. He, I was about to catch a fade. He pushed me on a, on a it, like, but then on offense, it's, if they throw a 40 yard Hail Mary, it's goal line. It's just right there. It just, that, 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 that doesn't, that just does not make. Yeah. Like why is defensive holding five yards automatic first down offensive holding? You get to replay. Like you should just lose your set of downs. All right. Next one was. Doesn't make sense. In college football. On a field goal, right? Long snapper snaps, holder holds. His knee is down. Why isn't the play dead? Dude. Dude, what's the most crazy about that? That makes no sense at all, actually. Like, if Lamar catches the ball on a knee. Well, no. In, in college, college. In college. In college. Yeah. If Jalen Milrose, Heisman favorite. <laughs> Heisman favorite Jalen Milrose. <laughs> if he just catches the ball with it on a knee, it's... Wow, man, that's that's actually pretty good. Well, I wonder that I'm, I'm, that one's I get I needed more sleep for that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. All right, that, fair that enough. One, that one. Yeah, if anyone one. knows, because I think if you said it's like how a field goal works, and it's just the kick, I get. But it. then like you but can run a fake, fake it, right? Guys, you can run a fake. That's what I'm saying. 
There's some stuff there. Yeah. Some stuff All right. Well, if anyone else has any crazy rules, put some it down below that, that. that maybe would open our minds to that. Uh, let's talk about the the big W. First off, what were you and Odell talking about on the sideline? Who sent that to me? Maybe my like, mom? Yeah, I was curious. Do you know? I assume you know because you were tagged or texted. You know, not being on Twitter, I don't see everything. But I do, if you type in certain stuff on Google, which like, not, so you're off Twitter, you're just Googling yourself? I Google, so yesterday I, did I, I was, okay. So yesterday, obviously didn't play. And, you know, I, there's a, this is, a, this could be a longer, store, short deal. First off, I was, the ramp, dude, first off, the ramp stadium is, it's just something about it just looks so pretty, so nice. It's, it's like, so nice. I think, do they got LED lights or something? They well, got I, the screen. It's the... like something about it just looks like. I just want to touch it. You know what I mean? It's just something really nice. Whatever. So I walk out there, and I didn't realize, like, I went to the Super Bowl the one year. Yeah. But I was sweet hopping, and I was lost the majority of the Super Bowl. Flex, flex. I was lost, probably. No, no, no. That stadium is the, impossible to get the, around. The, the people, I don't know how I was getting in these suites. They also pump in crazy noise. It's I so did, loud dude, I there. didn't feel like they were cheering up. So anyway, I'm seeing the screen, and I'm like, why is number 18 in for the Raiders, and Marcus Peters isn't? So then I type in Marcus Peters, and on Google, you type in someone's name, I guess if they're relevant or they're trending at the time, X pops up at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And realize he got he got benched. It's kind of sort of. Well, not kind of sort of. I hear they might cut him today. Might be a Marcus Peters reunion. Probably not. But anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> what you and Odell were talking Oh, you Google yourself. Oh, I was talking about Odell. So that... That was Twitter. Okay, that's why I said that because that really had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> but then, as I was still out there for pregame, EDC told me this really funny story that I can't tell you <laughs> about one of the announcers last night. So there it is. There's okay. how many ever announcers? Maybe there's three or four. It's a funny story. It was really more so funny because EDC got bullied basically by one of the guys, essentially. Don't quote me on that. Thirdly, as I was sitting there on the sideline, I realized, man, and this is and this is real spill. This is real spill. You know when James Winston had that quote, he was like, "I realize I don't like football. I like playing football. <laughs> it's not really fun to not play football. It's 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 a little bit, not even a little bit. I'm not. It's a lot bit. You know, you're just like, mm, you can cheer." You're a fan. You're a fan. Yeah. You're a fan, but you're and you could be playing. You're, you're a fan. Like you know, there, there's there's a whole bunch of fans, Ravens fans. There's a whole bunch of whatever your team is fans, but they can't just get out there on the field. <laughs> I can get out there on the field, but I'm not out there on the field. And honestly, it's you know, is it mental health week? Because it's a little bit depressing. But gotta say positive. Gotta say positive. You got to say positive. Now, I gave all that stuff for no reason. It had nothing to do with the question at hand. But those are my thoughts. A little bit depressing. Ram said it was cool. EDC, got, on your EDC got bullied when he was younger, been with the Ravens for a long time. And we talked a little bit about fulfillment, which is my ongoing question. Fulfillment, are you fulfilled? Mm. I had a very long, lots of chats yesterday with people. I see that. Team Chaplin. Whew. All right. Back to Odell. Ooh, yes. is that? I saw that clip. I had a towel. And, you know, I don't be like, when you're on the sideline, you don't know you're on TV. And you don't really ever think you're on TV, but I do just, I'm happy I had a towel. I wasn't saying anything crazy, but we were, we were, we were talking about some stuff. <laughs> you're going to make everyone sit through... 10 minutes of your day in LA. <laughs> and that's what you're going to tell we, us is you were talking. We we were we were we were we were talking about some stuff. We were talking about some stuff. nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Is there anything you can share? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see here. Let see. If it wasn't that crazy, I feel like yeah, 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 yeah. or maybe it was that crazy. We just talked about basically long story short, if something's working, why change it? Mm. And getting going. About me and Mr. OBJ, which he really has gotten going. Yeah, the past, you said you know, that the past two weeks. Hey, you said that. You know what I'm saying? But hey, but peaking at the right time as well. You know, all we just it it was a short 
combo. And he wanted to play more, but, you know, banged up a little bit. I was like, yeah. bro, bro, they're taking care of you, bro. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? They're taking care of you, bro. You got a shoulder, you know what I'm saying? You OBJ, we good. So it was a, it was a, it was a we, we, good combo, good combo. Okay. Like, like the OBJ guy. Like, he's a good guy. Good yeah, guy. good guy. Good, good Maybe guy. coming good on the show soon? OBJ will be on Punchline Pod. Hey, hey the cat's out the bag. The cat's out the bag. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a former guest of ours, I think, had a moment during the game. Did you see Patrick Queen run away from the quarterback on his sack attempt? <laughs> I missed that one. You didn't see this? I missed that one. How did I miss that up. one? He ran away from the quarterback? So I think he was running a stunt with maybe, like, Matt BK, but no one blocked him. Like, he, he just ran straight through the gap, but still ran the stunt when he could have literally just tackled. What a team player. That's what he said. But also a bum at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Oh, crap. It's crazy. Some of those stunts do look funny because you're like, bro, you could have just went, but then you're... Wait, did, did we get a sack though? I don't think so. I think it was just a, a throwaway. No, it wasn't a throwaway. B. Steve actually made a great play on the ball and PQ quote tweeted said, best believe... <laughs> he said, best believe getting left out next time. He definitely thought somebody would rather come like... Oh my gosh. <laughs> then he almost came off and still, wow. Great play, B. Steve. <clears throat> I, was, I love that play. Oh, that play was lit. B. Steve, that was beautiful break. Oh. You love, love corners. Dude, it's just, there's nothing. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. Let's just talk ball. I want to paint a picture. Whoever's listening, I want to paint a picture. You got so many different positions. But listen to this. A guy's in it, a guy's in his stance. He's he's standing. His legs are kind of straight. They're split, kind of straight. The ball snaps. He drops his weight, gets square. Now his feet are, you know, outside of his shoulder lid. Shake the shoulder, shake the shoulder, shake the shoulders. And the corner just goes, huh. puts hands on him, boom. Whatever he does, da da da. Then they both come out the break. It's like skaters skating together on ice. Poetry in motion. We're both, we both break down together. Bump, 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 pumping our arms, pumping our arms. We both turn, look for the football. I'm behind your back. I'm behind you. I'm cradling, I'm coddling you. Not touching you. I'm coddling you. You reach your arms out. I reach my arm a little bit further. Touch the ball. It gets deflected and I wave my arms. There's not a more beautiful, that is art. See, people think a oh, wide receiver mixing a corner. That ain't art. That's bull crap. You just made up a, that's bull crap. Me strapping that with, oh, beautiful. I'm so curious. Like, you missed one week of football, and apparently you're in love with the game again. I love it. I love to see. This one hurt. This one hurt me. This one, this one truly. Thursday night hurt me too. Yeah. Thursday night hurt me too. Because them black jerseys looked fire. <laughs> yeah, even with your bullcrap sleeves, you would have looked okay. Dude, true, true. <laughs> that all black, it don't matter what sleeve. I could have had Peyton Manning sleeves. <laughs> but freak. All right, so this then me. let me ask you, do you think Deron Bland should be the defensive player of the year? You know, I thought Gino, when he was, you know, I thought he was about to get a pick every week. But Deron Bland, I ain't going to lie. I don't know how he's not, like, up there. He's got Five, five or six. Five. NFL record, five picks. Five sixes. picks, six. How many picks total? I think just five. I think and I just seen he dropped a super easy pick against the Chargers when everyone's watching film. It's like, dude, the dude's a menace. Goodness. Like, I don't understand. Like, I mean, corner. They of course, don't give it to a daggone pass rusher. It, dude to have 15 sacks every year. Like, is it really impressive? Like, So you would go with the guy who said an NFL record, five pick sixes over just another seven. passer. This season. Seven picks. Yeah. Okay, so five. Is our DB them. coach just, I mean, Trayvon Diggs did it. Yeah. He's a, he was a backup. Yeah. Whew. Yes, Gilly probably won't be there next year just because that dude's balling like crazy. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Give it to a DB. Hasn't been another DB since Gilmore. That was, what, maybe three, four years ago? And I don't, I wouldn't say, I would say Bland's had a better, hmm. Gilly kind of did strap that year. I don't know. Defense player of the year, DB, I don't care who it is. <laughs> it I, could be DB. B Steve for all you could care. Be, yeah, could be anybody. What do you think of Zay's touchdown celebration? Because Lamar Jackson was not a fan. 
of tossing the bouquet of flowers. I don't think he did. He know what the bouquet did. He know what was going on. Who Lamar? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Zay told Lamar on the sideline, and the reason he got asked about it after was because you could see Lamar's face being like, "That's that an was- awful celebration." He said it sucked ass. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lamar. Uh, I didn't think it was bad. The Ronaldo was pretty sweet, though. Yeah, that was dope. The Ronaldo was pretty sweet. Um, defensive guys were pretty mad at Zay for scoring a touchdown. Yeah. Um, it was also, I, I don't want to be the boomer, but he has to go down. I was like, I'm a rookie. Yeah. This is the thing. He was running really fast. <laughs> at that point, he's just like, I didn't try not to get in. And he's like, oh, crap, I'm in the end zone. Right. <laughs> like, oh, crap, sorry. Um, and in his defense, they were just trying to get the first down. I don't think he was 30 yards past the first. I know, but I'm saying, I'm saying at the time, you're just thinking like, I don't think it was discussing the huddle. Hey, if you get the first down, get down. Right. right. I think it was like, Hey, we're going to call this play just to get a first down. And then he just, (laughs) Tutty. And he's a rookie. Two Tutty, man. Let's go. Multi Tutty. No, I was, I wasn't actually mad about it, but I don't know how I was playing as a fan. I wasn't that hot. Yeah. But (laughs) as a, once I got off fanboy and realized (laughs) Defense, I'm like, oh, he screwed us. Defense, because now I got to go back out there. People said on his uh, penalty kick that he intentionally kicked it to Odell's bad shoulder because he knew he wouldn't die for it. People, people are hilarious, man. Gino got some serious. Gino Stone got some serious, uh, some very funny. The Chargers do actually have some fans. They do. Because they hopped in Gino's DMs about hitting her. For her. Uh, <laughs> they in someone, also, I love how online PQ is because he found the tweet. There was one Twitter account that said, um, I need Gino Stone's address. <laughs> and PQ quotes the back. The back story of that is Gino go, Gino's friend sent that to him. <laughs> so Gino shows us on the bus and then. He's, he's, Gino says it out loud and Piku goes, bro, send that to me. You know, I love that stuff. <laughs> I love that stuff. Like, he gives a, he love, he really does. He like, loves it. like, some people think like, he's just on there like, searching for stuff. He really just be like, what happened? Send it to me. Send it to me. I'm about to quote tweet it. I'm about to respond. Like, he just like, enjoys it. Some people, he enjoys it. That's his thing. That's, That's his hilarious. Thing. All right. You get your chance to be Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp. <sighs> Are the Chargers getting their money's worth from Justin Herbert after signing him to a $250 million contract this offseason? This is the odd thing about Justin Herbert for me. I once upon a time got really big into trading cards. I bought some National Treasures, pulled a National Treasures RPA rookie patch auto of Justin Herbert. To 99? To 20. To 20. Gosh. Sadly, it got a 8.5 grade, which kind Oof. of really tanked the yeah. yeah, really tanked the value. But still, I was a Herbert believer until I watched him play. <laughs> I'm like, not a fan. And then I watched film because I thought I was gonna play in this game. And I was like, yo, that boy is nice, actually. He be throwing some. And then I watched him in pregame. I think he's got like the prettiest, just it's just something about it. It's kind of beautiful. I love it. It looks good. I don't know what it is. It just looks easy. Like, just oh, easy money. Wide wind up, though. It's kind of weird, but it's just beautiful. Back to Stephen A. Smith and uh, Shannon Sharp. They're losing games, though. That's the thing. But this is the thing. What also else, it's so hard to find good quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not trying to you know, down anybody, but quarterbacks kind of stink like it's just crazy it's like it, it, it really I think corners are hard to position but I think just based off how hard it is to play quarterback I like just based off what you're seeing it's got to be quarterback there's just not you're not finding many Justin Herbert just on the street yeah you know you're definitely finding Lamar Jackson's nowhere you you're like how many good quarterbacks it's 32 teams is there 16 no, good no, no. quarterbacks not this year this year good. it's been worse than than ever yeah it's like it's just a, it's a really hard position to come by. So are they getting their money? It's like you have that. That's the thing. You have to pay them top dollar. It just kind of sucks. But so to answer the question, they're still losing games. Based off the situations, I would say. Based off talent, I would say yes. Based off the wins, no. But that's been 
the whole debate behind it. No one denies how good But they be all close to their... Yeah, that's true. They be, like, last night they had a chance. Yeah. I mean, we didn't play... Or defensively, we balled out. Offensively, we didn't play. We moved the ball. We kept moving the ball. We just couldn't keep going. But, I mean, I guess that is the thing. No one ever questions his talent. They question. Like, Lamar, they ask, is he worth it? He wins all these games. Herbert, I haven't heard anyone ask, is he worth the money yet? That's all. You know. Nine and three. Lamar, he'd be getting cooked, crucified. That's what I'm saying. Goodness gracious. My God. Nine and three, top of the AFC. Now a little vacation. What are the bye week plans? I'm going to New York City. So when I was a young boy, my mom was name in New York just for her love the city. She said, when I came out, I just looked like a star. So what's the name in New York? So anyway, going to New York City, going to go see the, the lights, Christmas stuff. I'm going to do uh, the ladies that do their legs straight, the dancers. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? No. Lawn dancing. Okay. You know, like, a, is it Christmas themed? It's a, it's a New York thing. I don't. I'm not familiar. When they do their legs, straight legged. The Rockettes. The uh, Rockettes. You've seen the Rockettes. Never seen them. I want to see a Broadway show. Okay. And um, I, I just, I just, just. Just a nice weekend. Just a in nice. New York. And you want to know what I'm gonna do? You want to know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna phone fast. Really? I like that. Well, I'm gonna phone fast without the phone that has. Right, so when you get without service, basically I'm gonna have, so you yes, have the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna have so photos. So when you get back to, I'm the, gonna have photos to right. just to take, you know, because yeah. you know, you know, just you know, click, click, you know yeah. what I mean. But you know what? Another craziest thing, I go on vacation, right? Like real vacation, not bi week vacation. I was lying about New York, obviously. I think you knew that. Mom just named me Marlon. She never was gonna name me New York. But <laughs> um, is it crazy how you can look at something so beautiful? And you see it and you're like, man, this like, it's crazy. You pull your phone out, you take a picture, and it just does not look like what your eyes are seeing. I totally, totally feel And you that. try to tell someone like, bro, look at this. This was sick. And they're like, nice. Yeah, like a week later, you're like, this yeah, yeah, looks Yeah, they're like, they're like trying to, like, you're gassing something up, and then you're like, they're trying to, and you just, like, I want to just click my eyes twice and just keep it, hold on to it, and look at it. You want to bring one of the nice cameras? Maybe you could. Maybe you could really. But I don't know what it. I'm freaking doing. Yeah. Kyle does, and not necessarily for New York. New York. I mean, it's, it's yeah. New York. But when I was out the country, it was just like, yeah. who, who? You don't need to reveal who, but any of your teammates have extra fun bi week plans that you've heard. You know, I heard uh, this can be a the guess who this could be. I've heard. I've heard a couple different things. I've heard a guy is going to hit. Four cities. <laughs> per one guy's going to go home to see a new house. Huh? Just got built. Renovated, should I say. There might be two guys going to see a new house. A lot of guys' family just had babies. Nice. You know, we got a lot of guys really soaking in the family. One guy's going to see his girl. It's, it's, it's people all over. There was not many guys in the training room with me today, which I don't... People play through injuries when it's when they gotta, you know, say like, you get hurt and they're like, hey, you gotta stay around for the bye and boys ain't good. Oh, doing that. so they're like, nah. Boy I'm good. be like limping, like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm going back in, I'm going back in. So uh That's funny. But no, it's uh I think a lot of guys got it. It, it is a very well deserved break. We had us really late, I feel like. Really late. late. In the season. Yeah. Do you like and that so, timing? I actually love the timing. Seems like, you know. Uh, new fresh air breath of life yeah. for everybody yeah. so good timing we get to watch hopefully see some teams lose in the AFC side and uh, just enjoy enjoy and, and enjoy family enjoy stuff okay uh, you mentioned Marcus Peters reunion I don't did he get cut today for sure I don't think it's officially happened I thought I, by I, the time this comes out he might be cut but give me your best PG Marcus Peters story. I uh when I first <laughs> I first met him kind of early. I like introduced myself. We was on the field. I introduced myself to him. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, Marlon, like, Marcus. And we was chilling. I was like, where are you from? And he like said where you from. I'm like, oh, from the suburbs. And he looked at me so like I I for I <laughs> it was weird because like I don't be scared, but it's like 
I don't know this dude. I probably, I didn't know, like, if, you know, obviously I know this guy's not from the suburbs. <laughs> it's, obviously. But when I said that, he just looked at me like, and I was, and then he smiled. I was like, okay, we, we good. <laughs> but at first I was like, ooh. But then another, another story was probably PG. PG 30. He actually, I'll say this, he was actually probably one of the better teammates I had though for real. I I was I was surprised I would I would connect with him so much. Uh Eric Weddle told me I would. And honestly, I was like, you think so? Because I had only known him for, you know, a couple stuff off the I mean, on the field, really, throwing the flag at the ref, <laughs> a couple of interviews. We ain't done yet. You know, just, you know, just mm-hmm. but he actually a really cool guy. But I'm trying to think of it. Probably one of the better ones is when Earl, Earl and him almost got to fighting. In the meeting room. Or Marcus didn't even do anything. He was just sitting in his seat. And sitting in his seat. Or walked up on him. And he was like, we ain't going to fight here. I know where you live at. I was just like, I was in the, I'll was, i be in the front just looking forward. Like, I'm like, I'm just, I'm like, oh, crap. It's not like about to get real back there. That was probably one of the funniest. What was he pissed about? Earl, with they, we had messed up a call. Well, two guys played two different things, basically. They weren't, we weren't on the same page. Those two probably freelancing we, we, often. We, we, were, we were not on the same page. One person was playing the right call. One person was playing the wrong call. And, uh, and he wanted to fight him? Or wanted to fight <laughs> Yeah, very small situation. Turned into possibly a big one. But, yeah, they, that was – it didn't go anywhere. So it was, it was, Would you like him back for the locker room? You think he fits the vibe of the team? He would definitely fit – the vibe of the team when he, I mean, he, he definitely like he threw, he threw the Halloween party last year and he paid for it and everything. Wow. Like I said, he was, he was, a, he was a really solid teammate. He, I had Thanksgiving at his house two, one, I don't know how many years ago. One thing I did notice about him though, he is a, I mean, you see in his locker, he's got all of his family pictures and stuff, but when he gets to the crib, he is a family dude. Really? Yeah. I love, I love, you know, as a guy that, you know, Working on his family, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, it's cool. It's just cool to see guys really be just dads. Like you know, they get home and they just give all the attention yeah. to the kids and the wife. And it's it's refreshing to see men being men, leaders of the household. Yes. All right, maybe Marcus Peters back yes. in the purple by the time uh, this is out. We're going to pause real quick for a little sponsor. This podcast is brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticketing partner of the Baltimore Ravens. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one ticketing app. And with the NFL in full swing, including a game at home against the Rams coming up, you can get $20 off your first order on SeatGeek using the code PUNCHLINE. That's one word, PUNCHLINE. You don't have to go to the box office like Marlon does. You can just download the app on your phone. No problem. You get uh, $20 off your first order with code PUNCHLINE on SeatGeek. Uh, Coming up later in the show, you actually might owe me some tickets. But before we get there, Frank Reich was fired this morning. And the big news is that there was this rumor that the owner, Mr. Tepper, was the one who chose and forced the organization to take Bryce Young. Obviously, uh, Reich wanted C.J. Stroud as the report. Really? Yes. And we know how that has kind of played out so far. It's early on, but he gets fired. Tepper's now fired four coaches in 18 months between his uh, soccer team and football team. So there's questions there. In the NFL, have you seen something like this happen before where, you know, the owner comes in over top? Have you heard of this happening does this sound real to you? The good thing about me, I've only been one place. That's true. I've actually tried to think of you know, the worst thing about the Ravens organization. And like I, I truly like when a guy's like about to, might come to us in free agency, I like legit try to like think of what's actually bad. Yeah. I struggle. Yeah. I struggle. You know, you know, we all love to complain, but it's just it's it's kind of tough, the Ravens sometimes. So, but my only from our perspective, you know, I've I've sat one on one with the Bashadi uh, when I was like maybe my second year. I asked to just meet with Bashadi and just I just wanted to hear about his story, how he got here, and how he runs the team. And he's like an owner that is very 
knows exactly what's going on, but does not. He feels like he hired people to do the jobs. Yeah. And so one year we were, um, it was preseason. And I wasn't really supposed to be in this conversation. It was crazy to me because Bashadi is obviously billionaire, yeah. owner of the Raiders. And he was telling um, EDC, he goes, I want a pass rusher though. Like, and said it like it was a kid asking for a toy. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't know what year this was. And I was just like, that it, it just was funny. Cause it's like, you know, I, I think that's really how things should be run. Like if you want to be an owner, like Bajadi's not watching more football than EDC. Right. Bajadi's not watching more football than the scouts. Now he does love the draft. I do know that. But like, Actually, I don't know what Bashadi's doing. I'm just assuming he's just being wealthy and enjoying his life and the team and everything he's built instead of watching hours of film till like 1 a.m. to him, whatever. So, but it just was so funny to hear to hear him be like, I want a pass rusher. I was like, that sounded like a kid asked for some candy. It was like he was really right, like, like if you really want one, you could probably yeah, you could yeah. probably get that's one. what was I, I just But that's the respect. I literally loved hearing that humility yeah. from from Bashadi and I think, I mean, guys love whenever he comes around, like, cause obviously a lot of guys got some M's. We got some thousand errors. We got it all. But no, no, nobody I know got any B's that are on the team. So it's really cool anytime Bashadi comes to practice on his golf cart, pulls up, talks to the team. It's pretty cool. But that was that was like a that was just a funny thing for me. I just was like, I can't believe he's like, <laughs> he could literally be like, oh, you don't want to give me a pass rusher. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it was great. You know, I always resign paper. So that was just funny. But uh, that is my only, that is how ours work. Yeah. Ours is truly, yeah. owner knows what's going on, but everyone kind of gets to do their job without. Yeah. And you see like around the league, you know, I'm sure where there's smoke, there's fire there. And also like Jerry Jones, who's way more involved and does a Tuesday show talking about how his quarterback played. That could, I'm sure, be a lot for for some Yeah, he, he sounds like he is, I mean, he is. He, if he wants a pass rusher, he's getting a pass rusher for sure. <laughs> yeah. And then you got some owners who just don't care at all. Yeah. I mean, which, which is that bad? That feels bad. The good thing about it, it for them, it's like the Browns went 0 16 and they made money that year. Like you're going to make money every year no matter yeah. what you do. But I think, and then you got the like some owners inherit the team and they're like, we're trying to make as much money as we can. So we're about to charge the players for lunch. About a charge for for this, charge for this, and like stuff that like don't you want your players eating food and not having to br cook food and bring it in yeah. and so it's, it's like just, the, it's like the grass turf stuff we're talking about, and then we see turf, yeah, we got our people yeah. grass duty every day. Just yeah. no one takes better care of their grass than the Tottenham Spurs and probably all the soccer team. Yes, but. Who do, you, who do you have at MVP right now? So Jalen leads a, another crazy comeback against the Bills. Lamar obviously is the Ravens, 9-3 and three atop the AFC. Dak Prescott is picking up a lot of steam because he's been balling, really balling. Do you, do you have any uh, MVP takes right now? Or C.J. Stroud. He has a team Who's that Who's really going crazy? Dak, Dak threw four touchdowns. He's really Wait, did Wait, who won the MVP? Jalen, who won the MVP last year? I think Mahomes. Mahomes. I think Mahomes ended up winning it. Yeah. Jaylen Mahomes right would be there. up there. Jalen got hurt. His wide receivers are dropping the ball a lot. Yeah. Man, I don't know who's going to really win the Heisman. Yeah. Um, I mean, the <laughs> MVP. Um, you know, Jane Daniels is not, right? <laughs> he's, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's, I, feel like it's no, I feel like no one's doing anything crazy. They haven't. It, Jalen's just 10 and 1 and has, you know, 11 rushing touchdowns. And, They've come back. How he, many of those are the tush push, though? Like nine of them. I mean, that's still a touchdown. It is. Golly, that daggum tush. How would you stop the tush push? Like, if the Eagles play the Ravens in the Super Bowl, what do you think the strategy is? I wonder should you run off the edge and try to, oh, you can't pull people, can you? Like, pull them back? Yeah. I what think if you in run that, off the edge, because it's the back guys pushing that really get them in. Yeah. Jason Kelsey just has a, no, he just, he sets a foundation. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying you take out like just like the run around the AJ corner. Brown? Uh, 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 I don't have enough strength, probably. Yeah, it's going over the top. Of fish. Didn't one team stop it this year? No, they fumbled against Washington, but I don't think it was necessarily anything more than just a kind of mistake. I don't know how to stop the touch push. Honestly, you want to know who could? You're telling me Michael Pierce can't 
Can't get in there. You got some. Big it's something boys. about Kelsey. Is is he? Is he like getting under? I don't know. I don't know what the freak they're doing. It's very successful. Yeah. Do you think it should be banned? Is it not a football play? But every team essentially does it. Theirs is just like <laughs> unsolvable. It's unsolvable. like, you know, that it just kind of ruins. And they just be like, F it. It's second and two. We're about to do it twice. <laughs> yeah. like, we're about to do it three. It's second and three. We're going to do it three times if we got to. Like it, I I like, I think if they get within the five, they should just tush push their way into the end zone. So I play Madden. Okay, I don't play Madden. <laughs> yeah. I don't play Madden. Anyway. But I did play Madden on Thanksgiving. Okay. I had the ball from the first quarter, start of the game, to the two-minute mark in the second. You were just controlling clock. Running the ball every – I basically tush-pushed the entire <laughs> way with the Ravens offense. We had right, – look, don't – and Ravens fans, don't, you know, kill me for this. I'm a Greg Roman guy. <laughs> I'm, I, I want one I thought Robert's, Monk's your guy. Monk is my – no, Monk – Okay, Monk is my guy. Monk is my guy, but my Madden playing style. Got it, got it. My Madden playing style. You don't is, trust yourself to throw. What? No, sir. I don't care if I got Lamar with the six in my hand. Hey, Lamar, you you good. You good. You good. Hand off, heavy, one wide receiver out there. Well, hey, sometimes I'll put two. But but usually I only need one. Need likely Mark Andrews, Project Pat. Project Pat be getting. Sometimes I throw eh, right there. Eh. That's how I'm gonna say I play like Greg Roman. True story. Which had nothing to do with the question. I forgot the question. No, Again. you were saying, like, should they oh, just they go just first, first and hold ten? Down. Yeah. Should they first, first and ten? I literally think they could. Because they don't just pick up a yard. They pick up and at least And then everyone's throw a pass. Boom. Short pass. Now your daggum second and four. Tush push, tush push. <laughs> I mean, they're gaining. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're gaining at least three yards every time from the tush push. Yeah. Three, six, nine. Go for it on fourth. <laughs> first down. Easy money. Easy money. They really should try it one time. That would be funny. Why can't, why can't other... I don't know what they're doing so successful. I Do really you think don't. they're legit, though? Because they've come from behind, double digits a bunch of times. They're squeaking out wins against good opponents, but... The is core is legit. Yeah. They got probably the... If you look at it just for, from... Like Madden. Like talent level name, of players. Yeah. I mean, they got... Devontae Smith, Julio, AJ. I actually don't even... Do they still have Godert? No, he went to Dallas. No, he's hurt. Yeah, he's there. But, like, he's on the team. Is yeah. he hurt? Yeah, he's hurt right now. Goder. I don't know who they're. They other got Swift. Receiver. Swift at running back. And Swift. They look at their corners. They got Bradbury and Slay. Yep. They just traded for Bayard. They got Blant. They got. And then they, they're D line. That's always. They got Reddick. They got. They just create straight habit. chaos. Yeah. Habit. They just. It's really hard to run against them because they just. Carnage. Yeah. Everywhere. Now they got. So you think they're legit? I haven't watched them that much, but they are. They obviously they 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 seem legity. When was the last time we played the Eagles in regular season? It was uh, oh god, I remember COVID, actually. right? And there was that guy that was having like this crazy oh, streak Fulgham, of Fulgham, Fulgham, freaking kind of randy on me. It wasn't my guy though, but he's still kind of randy. <laughs> All right, the last football related thing for now. What's going on in the NBA? <sighs> What is going on? I feel like here? nothing happened this week. No, nothing. We normally have some stuff. I love a good old, you know, yeah. little fight, something crazy. Yeah. Somebody put up 50. Oh. 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 <laughs> there was Somebody one did thing. put up 50? Uh, someone put up 15. Who? Who? <laughs> uh, do you know the name Josh Giddy? She was in a 21-year-old spot, right? I saw a video. It looked like she was She was at the bar. She was drinking. Dude, Giddy's 21. He's pretty young. Yeah. I mean, he, he's still jail time. But if 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 the allegations are true, you gotta be you gotta be careful. I mean, I'm out of the game, but I'm good now these days. But I'm just saying. You know, he gotta realize, bro, you ain't, you know, what what he is he an American guy? No, he's Australian. Oh. Maybe he thought the you think that could be his defense? No, I'm just also check check the Oklahoma State law. I'm pretty sure it's 15. It's so funny. I was typing in. It's 15. I'm pretty sure there's some law. I That's was typing in age. You're of legal consent. at 15. Age of consent. First Google search is Oklahoma and then USA. That's how often it's being searched right now. So what is it? Gosh, age of consent is 16 in Oklahoma and in Australia. I think there's a special law though. I I so, that's just what I've seen. So it's 16 in Oklahoma and Australia. 
Oh, well, yeah, that's our NBA for the week. I wanted to make fun of you because it seems like Deron Bland has five pick six. You have how many in your career? I have zero. Javon Holland is pick six in off a of Hail Mary. Did you see that? You know, I always think what can go wrong when you do that? Why not do it? That's what can go wrong. I mean, but who is that that should have made the tackle? He really put some moves on Buddy yeah. at the end, though. That was the quarterback. The quarterback just, like, fell to the ground. Oh, I thought he... he, he, he. I mean, he did move, but he also... You want to know what pissed me off yesterday? And maybe it was just the NFL, you know. Of course, they got to post highlights. Yeah. Don, Danny DeVito? Yeah. I look... Tommy DeVito. Tommy DeVito, whatever. I guess he's Italian. He is. He lives with his parents. I see everyone's doing the DeVito. The dude scored one touchdown with 134 left in the second quarter. And then they only scored three more points. And everyone's doing the DeVito for what? They did They did the DeVito once, I guess. Yeah. He so did, you, Dude, you don't get your own celebration after dad goes. He lives with his Italian parents one in New Jersey. His mom makes his bed, cooks him chicken One pie. tutty? Yeah. No. That's a, you're a DeVito hater? I, I'm, I am a... And you're going to New York. Hey, pull up on Marlon in New York. I ain't trying to mess with Italian mobs. <laughs> if he's mobbing like that, I don't know if you are That's what I'm DeVito. Saying. But hey, look. I'm just saying. Ali. I just feel like everyone's doing the DeVito. <laughs> no. You're a hater. I do like the DeVito. Sauce Gardner was right. <laughs> Saucy was Sauce that. can do whatever the freak you want. He he has earned that. You gotta earn oh, it. Oh, now you're sucking up to Sauce after you're hating on him. Oh, this is the thing. I I got I was hating. I got caught. Now I'm trying to deflect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to deflect. So maybe Sauce should no. How do you pour? No, that's not a cool way to do Sauce. Because this would seem like you're pouring out beer. Oh, that's the other liquid. thing that happened in the NBA. Brown was rolling up and handing them to his teammates. For a celebration. Can you can you tell LeBron that's inappropriate? Why did I think I did see that? I think I did yeah, see that. He, it, it was on the ground. You know, LeBron, I thought There's you were There's kids LeBron. watching. There's kids watching. People literally look up to you. You literally probably lost, like, some fans. <laughs> yeah. You lost a fan in Mark. You, lo you lost a fan in me, buddy, because I you have an unblemished track record of getting in yeah. trouble, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's unblemished. Mm -hmm. now, he Kyle be, was getting made fun he, of he might be lying. last night because they ran a segment talking about how he's a LeBron stan. And people are like, you're 22. What do you know about MJ? Which we talked about. He, I, he loves love LeBron. He's yeah. a little concerned. I wonder if he's still a fan after that. Probably not. Act. That was disgusting, rude. I, was Adam Silver might need to find him. Oh, why was he at the game last night? Oh, he's on the East Coast. Uh, speaking of the East Coast, big announcement. The PLL, Premier League Lacrosse, has announced home cities for their eight teams. So you've been living in Maryland for what, like six years now? This About is six years. This is the state for lacrosse. Uh, Maryland has a team, the Whip Snakes. Whip Snakes. And we got some gear for you. We got some gear. Casey's going to bring over the gear. But what's your relationship with lacrosse, having lived here for I, six in years? Sweet Home, Alabama, we had a lacrosse team. You did? And they used to do a little, they used to do a little something. They used to do a little, okay, we got the, oh. Yeah, what do we think? That's that's the PLL hat. What do you think about the merch? It's pretty I'm, comfy. I'm looking I mean, at the logo. The snake is somewhere there. No, that's that's just the team. Oh. Yeah, or oh. The league, the league. Okay. Like an NFL hat. I was hat. trying to figure out yeah, where yeah, they yeah. went. And they're champion. Champion made a little comeback. Yeah. I got you an XL. Giving me big turt bobs. Yeah. Salabao. Whip snakes. Yeah, what do you think about the name? The whip snappers. It almost... What is a whippersnapper? I don't know. It's giving me big whippersnapper vibes. Yeah. Whip snakes. I whip. like the, the Maryland, Maryland flag, all that stuff. Yeah, so I was watching the whip snakes the other day. Whip snakes. Is a, whip, really a whippersnapper is someone who is younger than you. Someone that is younger than you are, but also irritatingly overconfident and impertinent. I feel like you probably have been called a whippersnapper before. Honestly? <laughs> honestly? I don't know where I heard that first. This hoodie's 
Yeah, it's got some, some weight, weight to it. It's getting champion. cold, yeah. Okay, champion. So it used to be, it was like uh, kind of a side gig and, you know, you worked a real job, but now, yeah, people are making real money doing it. Is, how many years in the league? Uh, the league has been around for, I want to say, was it 2018 that it launched? But this oh, is it's a, been popping. Yeah, yeah. But this is the first year that they're doing cities, which is pretty cool. And it's the fastest sport on two feet. So The you, fastest sport on two feet? That's what they call it. Oh, that's what they call it. I'm excited for your reaction to that. That's what they call it. That's what they call it. It's not what it is. People think it's the fastest sport on two feet. What would you say the fastest sport on two feet is? It could. Well, it, no, no, I take that back. It ain't the fastest sport on two feet. I think you're just but, scared of what would happen. We're getting you out to a whip snakes game, and you're going to sit. Hey, the whippersnapper, man. <laughs> All right. What I'm most excited for, though, is I've... I have accumulated the eight logos of the Premier League lacrosse teams. And based off the logo, you're going to tell me what you think their team name is. Okay? Let's go. All right. New York. Oh, New York Bulls. <laughs> They're the Atlas. Who? Atlas. Atlas. Is that mm. a type of bull? Uh, no. I don't know why they're called the Atlas. All right. That's weird. Next up, Philly. Philly Bulldogs. <laughs> You're saying everything's named after a dog. Oh, wait. I mean. Philly. <gasps> Philly gray dogs? Philly water dogs. Water dogs. Denver vipers. Denver pythons. Denver. <gasps> Is that a horn? No. Yeah. Denver arrows. Denver sharp shanks. <laughs> Denver Outlaws. You were on the right path there. Dude, the logo, okay, I guess. Okay. Utah. Mm, I know it's not Utah Rockets. No. Look, let me try to get a theme. Okay, I'm kind of feeling the theme a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Utah Sharp Rockets. Rocket. Rocket Sharp Skin Rockets. Utah Arrowhead. Arrowheads. Close. Utah Arrows. Utah Arrowhead. Arrow. Utah Archers. Archers. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, Boston. I think you can get okay, this Okay, that Boston Bullets. <laughs> what? Oh, that's not a bullet? Boston oh. micro. Boston. <laughs> Wait. Boston microphone? No, no, no. You're close with the bullet, but it's not. <gasps> think bigger. Baltar, Bal Boston Cannons. Yes. There we yes, go. Yes, sir. Go. I, that's a cannon. Why did I think that was? A Maryland. Snake? Whip snakes. <laughs> Would you have snakes. gotten that if if we hadn't told you? No, well, I don't even know what a whip snake is. I, mean, I guess it's just a snake, but I heard. All right, last one, Carolina. Oh, Carolina scorpions. Carolina chaos. That one's a little unfair. That one is. Yeah, that was never. Happening. That's tough. That was never happening. All right. Well, congrats to PLL on launching. I'm excited to get out to a game. Where do they play at? They. I think they're still gonna do like their tour structure. So they go to a city and all eight teams play, but now you just have team affinity. So we're we're repping the. Uh, oh, they're gonna play where they play. I got yeah. you. Like, um, see, like the XFL team. Oh no, did, do they travel? No, XFL is home home stadiums. This one would be like everyone travels to Baltimore for a weekend of games. But that's like that team that played in Birmingham. Was that the USFL? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. like the USFL. Yeah. They still are in season. I don't know. I mean, they're still, I don't know. they didn't. didn't I just know game. about the CFL and your future in the, in the league. Hey, you're, you're, you're 18. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before we get into analyst hump, I have something to show you. Are they Texas mid? Uh, oh, no. no, Texas would beat Ohio State. No. You're disgusting. <laughs> you're actually, just, you need <laughs> help. Seek counsel. What are you going to do? Are you getting me tickets when we play in the playoff? I will 100%. If that did it, I'm 100%. I will 100 think, oh my gosh. Like, I want you going to the Rose Bowl, to the box office, and buying my ticket. Hey, you have some great seats. Perfect. Texas ain't in the playoff. <laughs> I, I don't understand what they. Texas, and that's not fair. Texas ain't in the playoffs. Yes. Texas is not in the playoffs. Yes. First off, looking at it, if you look at it, if you actually look at it currently, mm -hmm. who is Florida State playing in the conference? Lou. Louisville will beat Florida State. Thank you. Then we're in. 
No, like, I still don't want y'all in. Y'all aren't good. I know, because you owe me tickets. Y'all aren't and you good. said they're going to be good seats, too. I cannot good. wait. Y'all aren't good. Why? Y'all had that. Didn't we um, beat the best team in the country? And then, did I just see, uh, what's his name? Archie Manning highlight tape? Yeah. He was scrambling. Get the frick out of here. What's He's wrong fast. with these people? He's fast. They say Quinn Ewers might come back to football. I know. He's coming back, yeah. Who's in in this chaos scenario? Michigan already. I called Michigan to beat Ohio State, right? Yeah. Come on now. That's what I do. So if FSU wins, Bama beats Georgia, Oregon beats Washington, Texas beats Oklahoma State, which four teams are you going with? Ohio State's out because they're poo. Yes. I just can't beat Michigan. Florida State's out. They're out at 13 and 0? They will be 13 and 1. No, no, no. If they win. This is if they oh, win. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody wins out. Yeah, yeah, And Bama beats. But but Oregon beats Washington. So they're both 12 and 1. I think Washington might be mid. Yeah, Washington's out. But the real discussion is these teams. So Michigan's in. And then, Michigan's in. Bama's in. Texas in. And then it would be Oregon, Florida State, Georgia. Are you leaving out 13 and 0 Florida State? Are you leaving out Georgia? Dude, no one wants to see, a, even if they win, no one wants to see Thank that you. backup quarterback. Thank you. It's bad for television. Thank you. Do they care about ratings? I would think so. Who's... I also... I ratings, also, ratings, 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 ratings. Do you know what? I think the stat is, in the playoff, a team gets blown out every year. Right. So, and this is the last four-year playoff. Are they... So it doesn't even matter if they mess up, like, You precedent. can't be like, no, oh, we got to change the format. It's yeah, already changed. Exactly. Put Batman in, the Bama will roll. I'll take Texas out, put any other team in it myself, <laughs> but. Because you, you don't want that smoke again. Dude, you, the, cha- the hardest thing to do, the reason why the NFL is competitive, let's be real. Let's just talk why the NFL is hard. It's only because you play two teams, three teams twice a year. No, It's I hard to beat a team twice. I agree. It's hard to just beat a team. That, that's Not what, when they're mid That's like what Alabama. Texas struggles with. You guys got us early. That was pre-Hosman Jalen Milrose. It was pre-Hosman Jalen Milrose. Now, it doesn't matter. Fourth and 30. Fourth and whatever. I'll throw it in the back corner. Touchdown. Crazy. That was a play call. Touchdown. Back corner. I got a source. Touchdown. Back corner. Hey, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to put it on the money. Touchdown. Back corner. In Jordan Hare. Where it's a really hard place to play. And they got the Jordan Hare juju. Magic. Touchdown. Yeah, where were you watching the game? Hosman. So I was, you know, I got finesse this weekend. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I want my card to get declined. Sometimes I want my card to get see back in college when I was getting my card declined, taking my little lady out. You know, I used to call my mama. She put some money on the card though. But anyway, sometimes, you know, I I go, I got a gift. I got some gifts. Not for my okay, I did end up getting for us. Long story short, I go to I go to we're in uh, LA. This guy that's not playing. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I need to go handle some business. Let me go over there to Rodeo. <laughs> a lot of a lot of expensive folks over there. I'm like, yo, what store am I gonna go to for these gifts for these ladies? When I say ladies, I'm talking about my mom. And another mom. And I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna get them a designer scarf. Or a little hair thing, a little, mm-hmm. you know, a little tied around your hair, head, whatever. Go in Cartier. You know, I don't really like, I don't like when people just look at me and be like, he's a broke boy. You know what I mean? I come in Cartier, they're like, like go over here. Just, like, what are you, what are you like, what are you looking for today? <laughs> yeah, what are you looking for today? Like, broke boy. I'm like, did you just, so I'm like, you know, getting a gift, you know, scarf Cartier, you know, something like that. You know what I mean? Long story short. Not getting into detail. I didn't spend eight bands. I'm like, no, I'm that's for just trying to show up the person that you weren't. No, well, uh, maybe that was really what it was. But she also, well, you know, this Cartier love bracelet, you know, it, blah, blah, blah. If you can afford it. And yeah, it's like, well, this is, you know, this, I'm like, ah, uh, end up getting it anyway. So then I go to, Go yard. What's that? It's like uh it's kind of it's kind of newer. I talked to a lady, she did say it was newer. It's been around for a long time, but it is a little bit newer. And the problem is I FaceTime my homie mm. at both stores, and he really is what messed me up. Bro, the Cartier Love Band, man. It's like, no, it's iconic. It's iconic. 
I'm like, well, that price is iconic too. <laughs> like that price is very iconic. You know, he didn't factor that in. Then I go to Goyard and for some reason, here I am again, FaceTime, like, I'm getting a gift for a guy. This will all make sense at the next episode, yeah, people. Yeah. Getting a gift for a guy. And he's like, bro, he's going to want that one. FaceTime, he's like, he's going to want that one. That's the one. Is this James? No, this is always getting you in trouble. No, no, this is Pitt. He doesn't know. James, James, it was something country he didn't know about. This is Pitt. Pitt. Then he's like, bro, you need to go your toiletry bag, bro. Like, you need that. So I'm like, do you have a toiletry bag, ma'am? He's like, yeah, we got one right here. And then I'm facing him. He's like, bro, that bag right there. And that's why I, this is why I took the L. This was like the most expensive item. And I'm like, you guys got it in green? I'm like, no, we'll have to ship it. Long story short, I went from, I walked in the store saying I had a, she asked me, what is your budget? Mm -hmm. I said, you know, like 3000 3000 She's like, oh, we can get a lot with that. We can get a lot with that. Spent AK. <laughs> so I go to the room at this point. I'm, 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 it's on my mind. So the next day I took the Cartier thing back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I couldn't do it. I took the Cartier thing back. Uh, that got back no, five. No, you did it. Got back. She really must have thought you were broke. No, when you were yeah, no, no, no. And that was I, it's crazy. I was gonna just do it in New York. I could. I didn't even want to face the lady. I was hoping she was not there. Was she there? I, I walked in. I'm like, I'm just doing a return. They were like, Oh, well, the lady that checked you out. You just have to wait for her. And I was just like, Freak. Like I. I couldn't even look her in the eye when I was explaining. I was like, no, so what happened was blah, 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 blah. Took that back, got 5K back. And the Goyard thing, I'm just trying to figure out how to take that back. But I ordered it basically online, but they don't have an online store. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I'm on, yeah, I might be getting oh sent back too. Yeah. It, and so you get back to the room, I assume that's when the game, that was the point of the story. You know what? I'd be getting off track, but I wasn't. I was in Cartier. Oh. Stopped watching the game because I was, the lady really wanted to talk to me. Yeah. I think maybe they feel when they talk to you, they she got me. Yeah. She got me. She did it worked. Well, it worked. Actually, you you won in the end. You did that I did win in the end. You did that so she did trick me. So I was watching the game on my phone. And then she kept talking, you know, a lot. Like she was doing good customer service. Yeah. Once they realized I was actually about to buy something, they did good good customer service. Then I was like, oh man, I can't, I can't keep doing this. Let me just pull up the ESPN app. Yeah. So I see third and whatever. Then I see four down. On the ESPN app, it said Auburn got the ball. You know, I wasn't on Twitter, so I was about to text my ghostwriter. Yo, Alabama sucks, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, I hit my family group message. And I hit my family group message before that. I said, Alabama's trash, blah, blah, blah. My dad goes, see, y'all counting Alabama out. I'm like, huh? <laughs> what you mean? I thought Alabama turned the ball over on downs on fourth down. Auburn got the ball, ran the ball three times. Alabama used three timeouts. Auburn punted the ball back to Alabama, and Alabama got the ball and scored. So when did you find out what actually happened? I found that out in the car. When my, my, I was with my, my parents came out to LA for the trip, but they left once they realized I wasn't playing because I told them I wasn't playing like Saturday. Anyway, or whatever day. I told them maybe early in the week, whatever. Anyway, he told me what happened in the car. I still thought like what happened. Is, yeah, yeah. He told me that maybe... Uh, 45 minutes after the game. And I was just like, wait, what? And then did you go look? And for then I went and saw the play. I said, what the, f what? Crazy. But this is the thing. That's the greatness of Nick Saban. He did that on purpose. He loves adversity. And when you got a guy like Jalen Milrose, a clear Heisman favorite, you can do anything. Except beat Texas. That was not Jalen Milrose, a Heisman candidate. Uh, that was just Jalen Milrose. Right. I forgot, you and the committee erased week two from the college football season. That's how it usually works. Every yeah. team has that one slip-up. Right. Every team gets a slip-up, mm -hmm. except Texas. Right. We're punished because we lost. Yes. Yeah. If he wins the title, will you say his name correctly? No, that's his name. Jalen Milrose? Mm-hmm. What is it? Milrow. I like that you call uh, him Milrose, though. If he wins the title, man. Because he roses to the he, he, Yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah he, he's a roser. Yeah. yeah. He's a roser. If, right. he wins a, if he wins the championship, I, I like Milrose. Yeah, it's way better. Come on, baby. He was fired up. All right, I'm fired up because this is it. Everything you've been building for. I feel like I look kind of jacked today. You, I'm no comment. Got a pump in you. Hey, send your son to UCLA. Woo! Nice facility. Just something about being there. I just felt like, man, 
I want to do it all over again at the UCLA. <laughs> what does UCLA stand for? University of California, Los Angeles. That is so simple. I love that. Yeah. That is fire. I'm so I glad you brought that. that up. This is the perfect segue. Texas needs Florida State to lose. They're playing Louisville. So I was curious. Lamar Jackson will put up 55 on them. Okay, proceed. He has a bye. They put up 55 on them. Gosh. What do you think it would take for Lamar to go back and play this weekend? For Louisville. He's just too focused on the daggum Super Bowl. Mm. His, his priorities all jacked up. This is up. a championship, though. His priorities all jacked up. He's too focused, focused on the daggum Super Bowl. He's like, nah, bro, I got to be ready for the Super Bowl. I got to be ready for the next game. Get your priorities right. It, it He's not really too motivated by money. I'm trying to think here. You'd have to, I hate to, you know, you'd have to get his mom involved. Mm. His mom, you'd have to convince his mom to, to, and then that still might not be enough. And do you think the Ravens would let him play? That, that, and then you got to, oh, there's so many hoops. Let's see. You'd have to not tell Harps. They'd have to go underneath them. You'd have to attempt to go to EDC and be like, EDC, I need you to take this one for me. Take the heat when Harps finds out. Could you imagine Saturday night dinner at Harbaugh's house? He turns on the TV. Look, man, oh, that I'm, eight guy looks good. Man, I, 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 we, we might need it. He looked just like a guy I know. <laughs> I could, Harbs might have a heart attack. <laughs> Harbs might have a heart attack. A lot of things could happen, but there's a chance. He didn't use up all his years of eligibility. That's what I'm saying. All right, serious question that might sound stupid. Would he, the fact that he hasn't practiced with them all season, the fact that he doesn't know the playbook, he doesn't know anything. I'm talking, he doesn't get the week to practice. Saturday at 3 o'clock, he shows up, they get him a uniform. How good would he be compared to who they have? I don't know if he would be ready to run all over them. Which you think about how much he, dude, he ran so like, bro, he put up crazy. He had some seriously long runs. He might fatigue early. Cause like those lanes are going to be so open. It's going to be like nowadays, like D Lyman are running four fours. Yeah. Okay. A lot. Four fives. Everyone's pretty much fast. And Kyle, that's not the case. I mean, he, he bust off two sixty yarders. He might be like. Ooh, his hamstrings getting a little, you know, he, you're not, it's not easy to bust off those. How good would he do though? He'd put up 55. Dude, you gotta think about it. Dude was, he was Lamar. But he Hobbs doesn't know the playbook. Was, like, but I guess Josh Dobbs, he kind of balled and he only had three days. I would imagine he would ball out, but I always wondered, like, could you literally just put like in basketball, it'd be easy. I didn't think about that. He does, it also does not know the plays. So you but think, I feel like it'd be easy because college is like. Right, they what, do the signs. If it's not there, just take off. Yeah. Literally. Like, even if you try to keep him in the cage, crap ain't working. You can't, you can't do it in the NFL. So it's like 55. Okay. 55, they're, they're third and And I'm calling his mom trying to get him <laughs> out there for the ACC championship game. That's your first pick of the week. Florida State is minus three against the Lil Cardinals. Who you got? Florida State survived a uh, one against Florida. I like my Louisville, and you know what I like. Moneyline <laughs> Louisville. Hey, I'm rooting for it. Come on. God, what are, what are you getting me tickets from, bro? You said for the playoff? Or? Dude, you will, hey, hey, these viewers, these people that are viewing, uh -huh. they will be paying for those tickets, man. <laughs> All that harder money we've. <laughs> hey, you're going to be at a 50. You're going to be 50. Okay. You will be, actually, well, you're going to be in the lower level. You might be on the 30. I'll take it. You might be on the 30. I'll take it. It's pretty good, though. 30 ain't bad. Next up, if Louisville beats. Florida State and Texas beats Oklahoma State. Texas likely in. <gasps> they play Oklahoma State. Minus 14 and a oh, half. Oh, y'all are out. <laughs> DJ Ukulele pissed me the oh, freak off. That's the wrong team. Wait, Oklahoma He's State? He's Oregon State. Oh. You've gotten that wrong all year. Oh, gosh. He did piss me off, though. Oh, gosh. They're both orange. Yeah. And OSU's. Okay, Oklahoma State sucks, yeah. huh? Okay, never mind. They're, are they not like the same? Are they orange and black? Yeah, and OSU. No, they're very similar. I feel you. Mike Gundy? Is he still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he? No. 
They got a chance if they got Mike. He's I'm forty. Yeah, but he might be sixty now. <laughs> ah, he ain't forty. Well, you're right. They got a chance, bro. Y'all gonna sleep on him. Okay. Uh, Who's I, the coach? Do you have it? I actually Mike. don't like Texas. Four, 14 and a half? Yeah. I actually like Oklahoma. Oh, OSU. Yeah. I like OSU. They will probably keep it within 14. Okay. But you don't have the balls to to pull up your little hand hand hey. gesture there. Uh, okay. Hey, plus. plus. 14 and a half. Okay. Oregon on Friday night is nine and a half point favorites against Washington. Washington sucks. Yeah. Donkey teeth. I think... Um, but nine and a half is a lot. They barely squeak past Washington State. Washington State. Nah, Penix, it's time for you. Your road ends, buddy. Your road ends, buddy. Bo Nix, Sweet Home Alabama, turn up. Let's go with the favorite, baby. Nine and a half. Give it to me. Talk to me. Okay. Where are you gone? Uh, Big Ten Championship. Michigan is minus 23 against Iowa. Iowa's team Iowa's. total is six. They're not projected to score a touchdown. Yeah, see, that's that's all. I think Iowa could probably hold up in the run game. You think? Iowa's defense be balling. But that's the thing. J.J. McCarthy's, okay, I thought he was a little better than what he is. <laughs> or do they just not let him throw? He be they don't like, let him do anything. But he made a really nice throw on a touchdown. He he's. He had a really nice throw on the sideline. Yeah. But that's their game. And against Iowa, they're not going to do anything where he could turn the ball over. Yeah, that's the thing. They take it, Iowa takes advantage of turnovers. Yeah. 23, though? Yeah. Let's go, Iowa, baby. I'm confident. Geno Stone, baby. Let's go. Plus. Give me the plus. You think any chance they upset him? Zero percent chance, but yeah. give me the plus. Okay. They can't score, though. They literally cannot score. So basically, it's going to be Ken Michigan put up 28 points. <laughs> 24 points, 24 probably, points. yeah. They're not going to score. I was D could limit Michigan. I could see that. Come on, Iowa. Let's do it, baby. All right, Come for on. Geno Stone. Give me one touchdown. Maybe Geno's going to go. Is he going to go to the game? Because I saw Tylen said he'll be at the Big 12 championship. You're obviously not going to Dang. the SEC championship. But I'm curious if any of your teammates are, are going to. Like with Lamar, he's not going to go to the game, would he? ACC championship? That's a good question. What does Lamar do? He'd be chilling. Yeah. He, that would be something he would go to. He won't be doing that much, but he would. He would okay. Doing that. All right. It's all come down to this moment. In Atlanta, the SEC championship will take place. The Alabama Crimson Tide against the Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia winners of like 30 in a row. Georgia five-point favorites in this one. The one thorn in Marlins side all season long has been picking Alabama or picking against Alabama. He did say for the last 10 weeks, these are the Alabama teams that actually do and go win the thing. They scraped it out against Auburn. Are you going to mess up a perfect championship weekend by being biased? Marlon Humphrey. Analyst Humph. Georgia. Alabama. Who you got? There's good teams. There's great teams. There's dynasties. And there's downfalls. You can't have a dynasty if you didn't come from the ground. You can't fall if you didn't come from the top. Alabama started this year a little rough. Just wasn't clicking right. You know, it's like you got a key. Like, I know this key work. I know this keyword. I just got, but you, you, you're trying to wiggle it in there. So then you get some WD folded. You know, you, it, 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 and they even tried another key. It, 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 that key didn't work. It did, ah, 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 ah. They did try another key, literally. And it, that one just, ah, ah. you like, okay, that was just a dud. That was a dud. And then at one point, the key just, and then as soon as you got ready to open the door and say, we here. That's what they're finna do. They finally finna say, we here. Georgia, man, they had success. Two Pete. Come on, but come on. Everyone knows. Two Pete's easy. Three Pete? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. They just, they, 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 hey, I, I expect them to dig, scratch, claw with their fingernails. I expect that. I expect that. 
But the thing is that they don't got, they don't have a Jalen Milrose. They don't have a crimson and white. They blood ain't bleeding the same red as, even though they're a red team too. So actually that wasn't really the best. But still, you know where I was going with that. Mm -hmm. Alabama comes into their house in Atlanta, which is basically their house, and mows their lawn. <laughs> mows their lawn and leave the grass cutter, the lawnmower, whatever, all the hoes, the, the rakes, everything right there on the lawn and says, give me that playoff. I expect a tight game. It ain't going to be easy. It is not going to be easy. It's a lot of ditches in that grass. It's a lot of rocks, a lot of rocks, boulders, all that. I expect a 27. That's not high enough. It's going to be some point score. Really? It's going to be some point score. It's going to be some point score. Maybe not too many. I'm actually struggling on this, on this score prediction, actually. <laughs> it's going to be a 20, ah, 27, 27, 24. I really want to go in the 30s. I just got a feeling it might be a shootout somehow. Yeah. I'm all over the place. Whatever the spread is, what is it? Five. Five for Georgia? Mm-hmm. Money line Bama. Let's go. Frick wrong with them. What? Come on, man. Money line. Frick. I can't believe they disrespect us like that. That's a way to go into the bye week. Punchline fam, appreciate you guys tuning in. We will see you next week. Enjoy the bye week. Five points. Make they sure us you three. They could have gave us three, though. Three and a half? No, they said five. And it was four and a half. People said, oh, that's not enough. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I have to edit that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They moved it up. Just, <sighs> just a half, though. It's a, a big half. <laughs> big half. At least they didn't move it down. That means too many. Yeah, that's true. Let's rot. Roll tight. Money line. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next week. Deuces.